Okay everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a super quick way to beautifully sharpen your images um, that allows the sharpening to just be applied to the details rather than, you know, smoother areas like the skin that you may not necessarily want to sharpen. And uh, so let's go ahead and just jump right in here. Now you will need a duplicate background layer. So I'm going to go up to my menu bar and select layer, duplicate layer, and we'll name this sharpen. There we go. Okay, so now we, we're going to go up to filter, scroll all the way down to other and select high pass. Okay, now your image is going to look a little bit funny just for a moment. <laughs> so don't worry about the silver kind of monochromatic um, thing going on here. Uh, what we want to look at with this slider and with the radius is what you can currently see as far as outlines. Okay, so right now when I'm looking at my image with the radius of about about 5%, I'm just seeing the, the outline of baby's uh, lashes here, some of baby's lips, the outline of her nose and her hair and just the, the outside of her, her cheek line where it meets her hand. Really, really nice. Notice when I move it up, however, I'm starting to see a lot more. No, I don't want this because this means that when once I'm done, the sharpening is going to be applied to all these little details and I don't want to overly sharpen the image. I just want a little bit of the outline to be sharpened there. So. I'm going to move this back to around 5%. Okay, I'm really liking that. And if you're having a hard time looking at the overall image, you can just um, use this little preview that you have here as well. Now I'm going to press OK. And yes, our image does still appear to have that metallic uh, look to it. So what we're going to do to make it appear sharpened I, uh, and normal is go to our blending mode here. Okay, this is almost at the top of your layers panel and it should say normal. Click on it and we're going to select overlay. Okay, we now have a really nice sharpening applied to our image. Notice the before if you look really closely. Okay, and we're going to click on the after and you can see some sharpening being applied to the hair uh, and the, the rest of the image. Now, if you do decide, mm, you, you know, maybe that was a little bit too much you can click on the opacity right here next to the blending modes. I like to bring mine down to zero and just work my way up until I find that it's working really well with that image, okay? And if you want to take it even further, uh, you can always add a layer mask and remove some of the sharpening from the skin if you notice that maybe the skin was uh, sharpened a little bit. And I can do that simply by going down at uh, the bottom of my layers panel. I'm going to click on the little rectangle with the circle inside of it. Okay, and remember when using layer masks, you want to have it selected, which I do. It's a little white rectangle. Black conceals and white reveals. So if I want to conceal the sharpening, I'm going to bring black to the foreground here. I'm going to grab my paintbrush, if you don't see it, just right click and select the brush tool. And if you want to remove all of the sharpening from the skin, you'll keep the opacity at 100% or you can lower it to remove some of it and um, simply just start painting over those areas of the skin or you want to remove the sharpening. So super, super simple guys. Thanks so much for taking a quick look on how to sharpen your images using the high pass tool. Super, super uh, fast and uh, efficient.